The meditation is medicine for the mind. We've got, we've got all these scars from all our greed, aversion, delusion, all the things that have happened from outside, things that have come up from the mind within. And so it's good to take time to give some medicine to the mind, because it's got these diseases, greed, aversion, and delusion. They keep wreaking havoc inside, so you've got to keep those diseases at bay. And find some time to be by yourself, get the mind have some time by itself, so it can really look inside and see where the real problems are. Because so many times we look at the world and the problems are out there in the world. If only this were like that or that were like this, then everything would be okay. But you look at the world, is there any, any place where everything is always okay? As soon as something good gets established, then it starts to deteriorate. And then you work and work and work and get something good again, and then that deteriorates again. Like the myth of Sisyphus, who rolls the stone all the way up to the hill, almost to the top of the hill, then it rolls back down again. It's going to push it back up again. As I say, the work of the world is never done, but the work of the mind can be done. Because when you turn around and look inside to see what the problems are in here, even though the mind is complex, still there is a limit to the number of problems inside. And you can find the source to them and put an end to them. That's the good thing about training the mind, is that once that issue is solved inside, then the issues outside don't weigh on you. You don't have to keep pushing stones up the, the hill anymore. And if there's any things that you can help with the world, you're happy to help. But as far as the What's going on inside the mind? The mind itself doesn't have any problems. And that's as far as your responsibilities really can go. Beyond that, everything else is a gift. And when we have the energy, we're happy to give the gift. But when we don't have the energy, you've got to turn and look into the mind and say, okay, what's wrong here? What's the problem? What's weighing the mind down? And you look into that. Then you remove the weight. And then you give it some meditation to soothe it. And the, the nature of this particular medicine is like a cream that you put on a rash. You don't put the cream on and then wipe it off. You put the cream on and then it stays there for a while because it's going to take time for the cream to do its work on the skin. Same way when you're meditating, it takes time for the breath to sort of begin to seep into the mind and have an effect. So give it some time, this medicine. It's not like you get a shot from the doctor and then everything is okay. You put the cream on the, on the rash, and then you have to be very careful about not eating anything that's going to make the disease worse and not going to places that are going to make the disease worse. You do have to be careful about the mind while it's in training until it gets to the point where it's not going to pick up any diseases from anybody. Okay, then the mind is safe. That's why the Buddha said you know, the ultimate health is nirvana. Nothing else really qualifies as healthy. So if this medicine interests you, here it is. It's free. Just a matter of taking the time and the energy to put it to good use. <laughs>